Hello, my name is Fran Sands. Welcome to MyBoxingCoach.com. Um, a relatively short video. In a, my previous video that I posted, it was about Naoya Anui, the outstanding Japanese bantamweight. I will put a link below. Before you watch this video, if you haven't already, go and have a look at that. In a quick summary, in that video, I talked through five fearsome factors uh, about Inui and what particularly what made him an outstanding body puncher that came out of those five factors. So these were he has a wide stance, gives him fine control at long range, being able to move in and out of range. He uh, has crushing power, so do everything you can to enhance your punch power, improve your technique, increase and try and improve, in, improve your speed, uh, a good strength and conditioning um, regime. He uses the jab to trigger the opponent a lot. He makes things happen. He's an active counter puncher with high aggression rates. He, he uses the concept of center line, flanks and targets, head and body. And where he punches one area, he knows that openings will be created elsewhere. He really goes to town on that. And he's a risk taker. He takes calculated risks to so with aggression and speed, trying to overwhelm the, uh, the, the opponent. What I wanted to do in this video was just give you three sort of kickstarters. These are things that he does that, or, or these, these are two punch combinations that really uh, embody some of those elements that we've talked about, the five fearsome factors of Inui. Um, and these are really starter combos. So these, these are kickstarters you need to unleash after these. So let's assume you're on the heavy bag. Start your combinations off with these, but then just go for it afterwards, okay? These Inui, a big part of his style is overwhelming the opponent with, with extreme aggression and, and speed and power. Um, so use that. These are only two punch combos, okay? I'm just going to go through three of them. The first combination is a simple jab. So it's a jab with a, with a step. And as, as you bring that foot back, lead hand hook. So what you've got is the jab, which is the trigger that will draw the jab back. So, so it's one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. Stretch the stance, bring it back. Two. Right. So again, you're stretching the stance. Long hook, palm down, and then obviously. Let it go. So that that, that hook is a, is a counter. The jab is the trigger. That's what makes things happen. And you can just, you know, bang, 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 bang. bang. High levels of aggression after that. Second one. Um, this is classic Inui. Backhand uppercut into the chest. There. So drive off the rear foot. Front leg bends to accommodate the hip rotation. The hip, this hip, right hip, goes round and comes up. Okay, in order to get that shot perfectly vertical, a forearm must be vertical when it lands. So it's one. And again, aim for the chest. Because if it misses the chest, it hits the uppercut. Sometimes... You know, the same punch can hit the guy twice, shot twice with the same bullet, into the chest and then up into the chin. When that lands, it'll bring the head up, it'll bring the lead elbow forward. Liver here, so it's one, two, one, two, one, two. Don't go for too much power for the backhand uppercut because it's there to, you've hit the center line, it creates an opening, you've hit the center line to the chin, to the head, it creates an opening on the flank to the body. Center line, chin, head, flank, liver, body. And then again, you know, bam, 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 bam. let all of the shots go after that. If the guy, if the guy's still on the feet, if the punch bag is still hanging on its chains. Um, the third one, he's a risk taker, 
So lead hand hooked to the body, back hand to the head. Now look, I'm a boxing coach. You know, I, I have to let boxers I work with understand risk reward, right? What I'm about to show you is a high risk uh, combination beginner. It must be done with speed, it must be done with aggression, or it must be done when the opponent's already struggling, okay? So it's a lead hand hook to the body. You can see the problem here. If I throw that there, I'm leaving a lot open. So drop the knees a little. That way the hand's away from the guard position for, for less time. One, two. One, two. One, two. Right? Body, drive off the front leg, hips rotated, and then drive off the back leg for a nice clean straight backhand right through the middle. It's risk. You can lower the risk by reversing the combination. One, two. One, two. One, two. I'll just show you that from this side. One, two. One, two. Key thing is you're going from head to body or body to head. You're hitting flank, center line, right? So there's three little starters, three little um, jump starts of the motorbike. Three two-punch combinations that lay a platform for some hyper-aggressive work. As I say, if you're doing this for fitness, it's always good to emulate guys like Inui and all of the top boys because it, it just it brings interest to your training session. It enhances what you do, okay? Um, I wish you a very happy, healthy, safe and enjoyable 2020. I'll see you a lot throughout the year, but enjoy your new year. Download the Beginner Boxer Toolkit. Um, seven tools to help you structure your training regime for fitness or more. And something that will give you great structure and great insight. Subscribe to myboxingcoach.com. My name is Franz Sands. This is myboxingcoach.com. Thank you very much.